Alright, I've got the deck for the Axis 2 installed here. I'm, I have to modify the sketch a little bit. Um, in order to get the gears to line up right, I installed a little spacer nut underneath the stepper. And I forgot to take in account for the screw heads to clear the stepper. So um, I, right now I've got one nut spacer in between the deck and the drive gear. I, I'm, on my model, I'm just going to add another nut spacer. Um, so I, I've got clearance for the screw heads. But I'll, I'll update the STL files so that this is a little taller and I'll probably um, raise this as well so that you don't need the uh, spacer nut. Um, but overall this print turned out really well. Um, I had to, I modified the the deck for this base or the base for the deck and um, added some holes so that these nuts will pass through the deck and the deck will sit here on just fine. Um, I found a new library for this beautiful little stepper. Um, it is the Excel stepper library and I will uh, post a link with this video uh, about the tutorial. It, it was pretty neat and explains a lot about the steps and the gearing of this little stepper. Um, the actual steps I believe is 4076 per rotation uh, let's see, 4076. This is an 84 tooth gear, and there's a 12 gear, um, 12 tooth gear on the stepper shaft. So if we take that's seven rotations of the stepper to drive this around one circle, times the um, 4076 steps to drive the stepper around one time, and we wind up with 28,532 steps to drive the the whole axis one full rotation and um, this library is pretty neat it's got um, it's got acceleration um, functions built into it so I'm able to actually um, using the steps that I calculated and setting acceleration we can actually, if you see this registration mark pretty much right over the middle of the motor, we can slowly start to accelerate and, and then build to a, actually what's a higher top speed than the other library was generating. We're half-stepping the motor. Um, so we're, we're, driving, we're driving a coil and then the next coil and then shutting off the first coil and turning on the third coil and um, so forth. So um, half stepping is going to give us just a little more um, accuracy I think and I think my calculations turned out pretty well you can see it decelerating back into pretty much dead on um, one full circle and so far so good thanks for watching